Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I have a kit to share with you today. A, a kit that uh, we've actually been waiting on for close to a year, but I'm happy to say the, the 35th scale border model Stug 3G with full interior and crew and all the other accessories is finally done. Uh, from what I've heard, uh, Border models had some corrections they had to do, and they wanted to do a very correct Stug with the interior. So that was what all of the delay is. So as of right now, all of the kits are done, and will be loaded up on the containers very, very soon, and should hopefully be here in the United States, and worldwide for that matter too, in about four to six weeks, depending on shipping, because we're getting closer and closer to that holiday season. So sometimes delays can happen, but that is what we're expecting as of right now. But this is it. So this is one that's uh, been talked about quite a bit for a while now. And this is a real kit. This is a final production model. So I can share with you all of the really nice looking parts inside. So let's get started. And here is the box for the Border Models 35th scale Stug 3 Ausführung G late production. And this one is a full interior kit. Plus, there is lots of bonus things inside of here. Uh, first of all, there is a four-man crew included with the kit. So that's nice. So if you're going to build a full interior kit, you can put all four figures in their fighting position. Plus also, um, actually there's a little picture here on the side of the four figures in their fighting positions on the side of the box. But also there is lots of accessories that go on the back engine deck. So you have the framework for stowage on the back, you have the side skirts, plus you have like a 50 gallon drum, uh, ha uh, helmets, boxes, all kinds of tarps, things like that. And those are all included inside this kit. So lots of extra cool things, plus, the premier gift, there is a Panzer badge inside of here. It's a replica, obviously, of the uh, the original ones given out uh, by, the, uh, by the German army. So we've got a decent amount of plastic to take a look inside here because obviously with the full interior, there's going to be that way. So let's start looking at the plastic parts. So here we are. Let's just start looking at these plastic pieces here. Uh, this looks like this is the, uh, the transmission sprue. And I'll just get in there and let you look at all the parts. There is a lot of slide molding on this kit. In fact, if we look on the sides here, lots of pieces on each one of the sprue are all slide molded. Just go down the line and let you look at the different ones, all parts of the transmission. Just like that. So next up, we have some more of the internal parts. So here is the, the bracing that holds the, uh, the gun. Very, very familiar after building the uh, DOS Work 16th scale one. You start to recognize parts very quickly. Here's the firewall back there. Let's see, and there's also some slide molding done right here. There we go, so that is the second sprue. Next up, we're going to look at the lower hull. Now, it is molded up in multiple pieces, and the reason they're gonna have to do that is because of all the extra detail they need to put inside the, uh, the inside of the hull. But the outside looks very, very nice here. Very nice detail. Here's a close-up look of the uh, fenders. And then also of the side skirt brackets. And then we'll give this a flip and let you see the inside detail, especially on the bottom of the hull here. And you see these little pins. These little pins will have to be knocked off, but that's not a problem with that. And there's also a few on the bottom of the the fenders and those are always in there and that helps the uh, the sprue complete those are like uh, little checks that they have a little extra plastic goes in there so under pressure it's going to fill out the entire mold 
Next up, we have the back of the fighting compartment. And we've got some of the things like the drive sprocket, front of the tank, and here is the engine deck. Right there. More of the brackets for the side skirts. Looks like there's some slide molding done right here. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Oh, there we go. So we've got the MG34. Looks like a radiator. All those parts right there. There is the next sprue. And they just keep coming and coming and coming on this kit because there is a lot of plastic inside here. So there's the MP40s that get stowed on the, the back of the fighting compartment on the inside. Got some slide molding right here. The periscopes. Cleaning kit. It's like those are the radios right there. And some of the bolt-on armor for the front of the vehicle. Oh, next one I drew are three of the figures that are in this kit. These three figures are all molded on one, or you see they've attached the sprues together on this. Give this a flip and let you see the other side. And the fourth figure is molded on the, uh, the other sprue I'm about to show you in just a second there. Get as close as I can on that. There we go. Okay, now we're up to a big sprue right here. And actually, I, I, I misspoke. The, the figure's coming on another sprue very, very soon. Uh, here we are. Here we have all of our 75 millimeter shells, or at least some of the 75 millimeter shells. There's quite a few in here. We've got stowage bins in there. Now, the piece fell off right here in the box, but I'll show you that in just a second. And flip this around, you can see lots of slide molding. Three different muzzle brakes. Plus this stowage box has got slide molding on it as well. There we go. So here is the part that fell off that sprue. It's one of the mantlets. It's the unshrouded uh, one. So this is just the one that's just like would be bare metal. Did you see that right there? It's got some nice texturing on it. But next up is the one that has the uh, canvas cover on it, as you can see right there. Plus also there is a canvas cover for right here. And this has a lot of the accessories on it. So this has like some sandbags in it. And I'll flip this around in a second there, let you see. So we've got some jerry cans, some boxes, 50 gallon drum, the rolled up tarps you can see are molded in multiple pieces to get the edge detail like that. Here's some more crates. There's that 50 gallon drum. Here is the fourth figure. He's sitting right there. He's part of this sprue here. And then let's give this a quick little flip. You can see the other side of the sandbags, the detailing on all of that stuff. The other side of the figure. And also, there are extra helmets there too that if you want to just place all around the vehicle, nice little diorama setting, they are in there as well. Now I've got another really large sprue, one that uh, takes up basically the whole side of the box. And there are going to be two of this particular sprue in there, as you would expect, because this is your wheel and tracks. And the tracks are link, which are these individual links right here, and then long length of track just like this so that has already been molded with the uh the shape in it the sag to go across the top that saves a lot a lot of time and then as we rotate around here you'll see some more slide molding the eyelets are all drilled out and parts for the suspension but now we'll just let you look closely at all of this so here are those tracks the road wheels return rollers suspension parts, even a few tools on there. Let's give this a quick little flip. 
what you see this side. And it looks like we get quite a few different return roller options. If I'm not mistaken, I'm looking at three different ones right there just on the screen. Very nice. So that sprue is two of them inside there, like I was saying. So you get these two big guys just like that. Next up, we have our engine. And it is pretty nice looking too. Lots of slide molding on this. Now, I'm assuming these are for other variants, why we have some big openings on here. Maybe there's for an early variant or something. I don't know what quite would be different on the engine sprue that you'd have that, but uh, there's nothing missing out of this kit. This is the way it actually comes right here. And then we've got some, actually not some, quite a bit of slide molding on this. Just like that. Very nice. One more little small one we have. So we have the, the top of the fighting compartment. Some more return rollers. Slide molding on the exhaust. And if we flip this around, this part has slide molding on it as well. Just like that. Let you see everything nice up and close. And finally, we have one more very large sprue. And I say very large sprue, very large sprue for the, for the box that it comes in here. And uh, this has all kinds of internal accessory parts for like the radiators and here's like the exhaust fans. Look like those are the fuel tanks right there. And all the plumbing that goes on this kit. Here are some more of the, the fan housings. You can see all of this has been slide molded. Parts of the radiator also slide molded. And also, too, stay tuned after I'm done talking here at the end of the video. I will have a lot of close-ups of some of these cool parts that you'll probably want to take a closer look at. There we go. That is the last of the major plastic pieces. And having said that, the only other thing I need to show you now is the clear periscopes. That is the clear parts that come inside this kit. Now I'm going to drag all this stuff out to the middle of the table here to show you what's going to come inside as it comes to photo etch. And first of all, here is 75 millimeter shell. There, you saw all the plastic ones in there. There is also three turned brass ones inside there as well. Very nice looking little bonus. There is also a turned aluminum barrel. Nice little feature. We have our uh, tow cable all wound up there. And then now let's jump into the photo etch. So this first little sprue without blinding you guys there, this is the back of the 75 millimeter shells. These are gonna go on all of those shells that are inside the kit there to load up the tank. So you'll have the, uh, the little markings on the back. Actually, I should, sorry about that. I should have flipped that over. These are the ones, the side that actually has the See if we can get in quick, close enough that you can read it. But I can read it in person. It's just so blinding with the uh, the shiny brass. But there is there is words on there. And then we'll look at the decals in a minute. But here are the side skirts and a whole bunch of other photo etch. Just like that. So pretty decent size amount of photo etch. We've got our grills up there. And lastly, we're going to look at the decals. The decals here are all of the, uh, the markings that would be on the side of each one of the shelves. That's what the bulk of all this stuff is here. And then just a couple of markings for the actual tank itself. 
just like that. And that is your decal that comes inside. And lastly, before we take a look at the, uh, the instructions, which I always show you, here is a little special gift that uh, Border Models is including on the very first run of the Stug 3. And this is the Panzer badge. This is a, a metal badge and it's uh, fashioned after the one that was originally given out to troops in World War II. And it's just a little, a little gift they give you for buying the initial production run. And now we're going to take a look at the instructions. And as you can imagine, they are fairly large because there's a lot of parts in there. The first uh, page will be a breakdown of all the parts and a couple of little pictures. And then it jumps right into the actual parts of the kit. And you'll notice as we look at the different pages here, they've colored the, uh, the instructions. So it gives you an idea of the new parts that are going to go onto the kit are all done in a darker gray or the photo etch in that case are done in a golden color. So that way you know which parts. It's a little bit easier to keep track of, especially when you see some of these pages that have lots and lots of parts on it. So I am gonna stop talking here for a moment and it's a couple of minutes, but you get to see all of how this kit goes together, followed up by the color plates at the very end.
Well, there you go, guys. There is a look at this uh, beautiful looking kit. And like I told you earlier, the, uh, the kit is done and it's on its way to the United States very, very soon. Uh, anyone who had pre-orders on this, your pre-order is still there. And as soon as they come in, they will be shipped out the door to you. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching. Please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.